Hi, this is Jennifer from Open Helix. In today's tip, I'd like to introduce you to a relatively new resource from NCBI named F-Link. To see the full blog post and details about this resource, please visit the Open Helix blog at the address shown. Okay, if we head over to the F-Link homepage at the address shown here, we can see that F-Link stands for Frequency Weighted Links. If I click the About page, I can also see that this name is uh, based on a German word meaning nimble, swift, or agile. And this is, with, uh, this is based on the um, tool's ability to take a large list of IDs from one database and analyze those and output a meaningful list from a second database, as is explained in this diagram here. So, I input a list of IDs from a supported database. I can then review and select uh, some of those IDs or all of the IDs on the list for analysis. I can then link to an output database and the tool will analyze my input list of IDs and provide me with an output list of IDs and items from the secondary database. So, I think the best way to explain this is to do an F-Link search. So, my first step, as the diagram showed, was to choose a database. I'm going to start with the database Gene. And once I've selected a database, I get this pop-up window for how I'm going to enter my ID list. I can input them in this uh, window. I can upload an ID list if I've got a file on my computer. I can search Entree or I can input from an Entree history. In this tip, I'm going to search Entree. I just recently read a volume of Nature um, on schizophrenia, so I'm going to use that as my keyword search. I get a message very quickly that the analysis is running and has been completed. And what I see is that this is a um, gene list of all of the genes that have been found to be associated with um, schizophrenia in some way. If we scroll down here, you can see that there were actually 870 gene records that were found. I can scroll through these genes over a number of different pages. I can look at a summary. I can download this data. Um, but what I'm going to do is to link to a second database. I am going to choose Biosystems as my output database and submit. And again, very, very quickly, the analysis is done on those 870 um, genes. And uh, when we see the input, we're going to see a frequency, late, frequency weighted list of items in Biosystems. So my secondary database was Biosystems. And this is a list of the items in Biosystems that are related to that gene list that we input. So this first item, frequency 92, means that 92 of the genes on our input list are associated with this very general metabolic pathway. Our second item down though, 81 of those genes are associated with the KEG um, biosystem neuroactive ligand receptor interaction. This is a conserved pathway and there are also 61 genes associated with the um, home, uh, human version of this same pathway. So that really makes sense with the input gene list um, that we used. So very quickly I was able to go from a gene list to associated um, biosystems using F-Link. Please check out the uh, resource yourself and thanks for joining me for this tip.